Hey, what's up, YouTube? It is Melody back with Melody Loves Death Metal. Uh, probably not a death metal episode today, though. Uh, definitely black metal at its finest. So I guess you could say it's a black metal collection update. Uh, not a black metal Monday. I figured I have not been getting videos up as frequent as I would like, so I'll pump something out today, show off a bunch of new CDs that I got. Uh, but before we go ahead and get started, I just wanted to call out that I am coming back on Heavy Metallurgy this Friday, so tomorrow. We are doing a Slayer stream. Um, I've been preparing myself, pulling out all the albums <laughs> and listening to them this last week. It's been it's been a fun time. There's a couple of albums I have not listened to in a long time uh, in their discography, but I'm really excited about it. So Heavy Metallurgy tomorrow, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, I think this is like my fourth time on the channel now. I don't know. I've been on several times previously. Excited to hang out with Marty and Alan again. Probably should be a good time. Probably a lot of laughs and stuff. So go ahead, check it out. Really excited about it. But uh, happy Thursday. Thursday? Yeah, today's Thursday, right? Um, I Speaking of heavy, heavy metallurgy, they had a stream a couple of weeks ago. I think it was it last. It was two weeks ago, I believe. Let me pull it up. I can't remember what the... Uh, stream name was it wasn't like a, a normal discography stream uh it was it escapism and heavy metal no that was one month ago that was the last stream that he was on uh with them uh so they did a stream with uh jimmy from future ruins uh about a month ago for escapism and heavy metal uh and then they didn't jimmy came back like what two weeks ago and they did um what was it called oh history heritage and and heavy metal uh, so it was another stream like with the theme about that Jimmy was on uh, and they were talking about this band on there uh, he brought it up um, Quebec band and I was like oh that's right I don't have any of their stuff in my collection and I really really like those albums but the particular one that he showed was this one uh, so yeah that's pretty much I'm sure you know what this is um, for the Resi. <laughs> I don't speak French uh, band out of Quebec this is their is this their their latest album that came out in 2016. I am not going to try and pronounce this because, again, I don't speak French. Uh, black metal band, Canada, Quebec. This is their, they have three, four or five full lengths. This is their latest one that came out in 2016. Um, I snagged this off of Hell's Headbangers after he brought this up and talked about, you know, the overall themes of this band, which is, you know, that Quebec culture and, and like, some of the wars and stuff like that that they had in their past um just overall really really good uh atmospheric type uh black metal there's a lot of atmosphere in this um there's history involved with this it's all about the, the quebec history and stuff like that but hell's headbangers had these in stock um i think for the most part this actually might be one of my favorite albums that they put out. I've heard all of their albums, but again, I just didn't have anything in my collection around there. Um, and this one, here we go. I like that. Middle New York, Quebec. Go quick. I don't. I actually spent the summer in Quebec City. Loved it there. Uh, absolutely loved the food, um, all of that stuff. Uh, so. But I just never really learned the language. So the booklet pretty much is just all of the lyrics. It's, again, it's all in French. Uh, so I can't read anything. But it's a great album. Um, definitely a lot of that. You know, that that black metal kind of in the vein of uh, a little bit. They remind me of just a tiny bit of Immortal. It's kind of sounding black metal. A little bit of not really... Not Emperor, because there's not, like, really that symphonic stuff in there, but there's definitely, like, bagpipes, uh, which I really, really enjoy. And there's the back part of it. Um, but yeah, it's a really great album. Long songs, longer type of songs. Uh, very, it's got that very atmospheric sound. Just very, you know, very intense black metal is what I want to say. Nicely well written. Um, this came out on Sepulchral Productions. Um, and like I said, I got this through Hell's Headbanger, man, that glare is awful on my camera. Uh, so I grabbed this one after that stream I talked about this particular album. I was like, oh, that's right. I really, really enjoy that album. Um, again, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. Uh, the album is eight songs. Uh, I think the longest song on here is about six minutes. 
Uh, so good size songs. Um, the very last song is the first song. First like 46 second song is instrumental. The very last song is instrumental. I love the instrumental instrumentation on this album. The band just writes really great black metal. In fact, I, I feel like this is probably one of the my more favorite you know um, modern black metal bands out there. Um, I just absolutely love this album. So I picked this up because I remembered how much I love this album after they talked about it on the stream. And then in that same order, uh, just because this was available, I also snagged their first full length that came out in 2006. Uh, so this is a, unfortunately a digipack, but you guys know I absolutely hate digipacks. Um, but it, I knew it was going to be a nicer quality of a digipack. Um, I would prefer the jewel case, but I grabbed it. It's the triple fold. Right there, that's pretty much all you get is the lyrics and then some painting and then this dude who I I didn't immediately didn't like go into full detail to read about what this album was about or what they're singing about. Um, probably some more, you know, Quebec national history stuff. Uh, but this album is also really good, a little bit more raw sounding. Um, out of the two I think I tend to listen to this a little bit more just because it's the first time I'd ever heard this band. But getting this in my collection, listening to it the last couple of weeks, uh, remembering how much I really enjoyed this album as well. Um, so again, it's a little bit more raw sounding. The bagpipes are on here. I think there's an accordion on here as well, which I, I just love that they they incorporate those other instruments. It's not just guitars, drums, bass. It's, you know, they incorporate those other types of instruments. So, again, out on Sepulchral Records, I'm probably saying that wrong. Productions, I mean. Um, I I can't remember. Uh, is this, is that label out of Canada? I can't remember. But anyway, again, Hell's Headbangers had these. There was one other, 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 bleh, other album that Hell's Headbangers had uh, that I actually might pick up when I get paid this week. Um, and it was the one that came out. In 2011 before this album so it's got the nice like field image of the wheatgrass or whatever the hell it is um that's a great album too so there's not a bad album that this band has put out i I've, i really enjoy all their albums um but i grabbed these two because they were the ones that i was you know familiar with and i saw uh that i've listened to the most um out of the two if i had to pick i i would probably go it's tough because like there's similarities to obviously their their sound hasn't like progressed super change hasn't changed all that much from their first album whoops again this is a little bit more raw sounding um but in this one's a little bit more cleaner polish not cleaner there's still some of that like aggression black metal aggression there i don't really know what i'm trying to say here i think i would probably pull this one a little bit more and that's just simply because it's the first time i'd ever heard them so there's a bit of a bias there uh but again great band check them out um i'm not going to put clips in this video because i actually i actually don't own the digital uh mp3s of them so when i put clips in my videos in the past it's because i actually own the digital version of the music i don't own the digital version of the music i opted not to get the digital download code from hell's head bangers when i bought this um i don't know why i didn't even think about it um so no clips but you can go ahead it's everywhere you can find it on youtube everywhere it's not blocked anywhere so it's a great, those are great albums. So moving on, um, I got three CDs in from NWN a little while ago. I never showed them off that channel because I just haven't been recording as much as I wanted, but they were albums that I haven't ever had in my collection before that I've been meaning to put in my collection for a long time now. And um, I'm just pulling up my notes because I realized I didn't have it open. Uh, and I, they started reissuing these again for like the uh, 100th time. And so I finally snagged them. And what I'm talking about is Mystifier. <laughs> yeah, I didn't own anything by Mystifier in my collection. Obviously, very prominent black and death metal band. More on the black metal side in the beginning. Probably a little bit more death metal on the side and towards the end. I don't know. People get upset when I say black and death metal about certain bands. Out of Brazil, one of the most iconic bands. In my opinion... If I had to choose between Blasphemy, uh, Mystifier, Archgoat, it would be really hard to choose between Archgoat and Mystifier. Like, they're pretty much really up there on the same level in regards to how much I love this type of, of, of blackened death metal, black metal, I don't even know. Um, 
but I finally picked up these albums. So I'll start off, I don't have the whole entire collection yet. Um, actually, I do have one coming. I was trying to wait for it to get here, but it hasn't gotten here, and, and that's the Alistair Crowley demo. But I did grab this compilation. Um, what, what was this called? The Evil Ascension Returns, Tormenting the Holy Trinity. Uh, so I grabbed this one, and my favorite thing about NWN when they make their CDs is that they put the hype sticker on the actual jewel case. For whatever reason, that little small detail, I really enjoy that they do that. Uh, I don't know why, um, but this is the compilation. It has uh, their first demo, um, and what else? Some other single or something like that, um, Tormenting the Holy Trinity, uh, and then the Evil Ascension returns uh, so it's the single and then their first demo comp um so i was essentially going to try and get these separate uh but they just released this comp so i just snagged it uh so some of their first stuff um in my opinion not my favorite music by mystifier but still really really good uh this is a really really nicely pressed cd uh so i really like that they included you know the, the artwork from the, the single uh, and then there's also the band right there um, and some promo stuff in the booklet it's a really nice nicely pressed uh, comp so there you go they also reissued these on vinyl uh, I've considered getting their vinyl records but for now I just snag the CDs just because of cost savings at the moment but they have been reissuing these on vinyl. They've reissued these a ton of times in the last several years. Um, and I believe there's also cassettes out there too. So uh, I don't feel like I need to talk about the music. I feel like if you're watching this video, you know who Mystifier is. You've, you've, you've heard this. Like, surely you've heard this before, right? Early 90s, right here. I think the demo came out in 89. Uh, Alistair Crowley, the other demo that I'm waiting on, came out in 91. So just iconic band from Brazil. I think probably one of the best brands to ever come out of Brazil. In my honest opinion uh super super um worship like people really worship this band it has a really underground cult following um so yeah great stuff so i got this and then i also picked up uh the first ever full-length wicca uh released on 1992 uh, so again this is a reissue it's not a first first pressing or anything like that. I think they reissued this last year. They recently reissued them on uh, CD and vinyl, like within the last couple of months too. I'm probably going to pick this up on vinyl for sure. Um, I absolutely love this album. I still listen to it a lot. I listened to it this morning right before I recorded this video. Still get all the same happiness and feels when I listen to it. I just love the dark satanic occultism that comes along with, with mystifier in this music again part of the reason why i love arch goat so much in their in their records um so there you go i think there's like some alternative artworks and stuff like that where the border is not on some of those things like there's a bunch of things that variations have happened over the years i don't know the full extent that i'm just hearing that off of other videos lyrics and then there you go band photo which i'm sure you've seen several times uh what else is in here some more lyrics another band photo again just a really nice reissue by nwn um nwn is probably like one of my favorite labels slash distros i buy from them a lot uh just yk his attention to detail with how they pack things and how they reissue things he's just all around great i hope to someday get down to texas to go to the actual eastern storefront uh record store there's so much stuff on the shelves there that uh, I would love to just be able to look at and buy. I know this got a bunch of first ish presses of a couple of like Sepultura's and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this is there. Uh, the hype sticker says, at long last, the definitive edition of Mystifier's classic debut album featuring restored original artwork. Okay, so this is original artwork. And sound, mandatory listening for fans of Sarcophago, Blasphemy, and Beherit. Uh, Beherit is another band that we'll talk about someday on this channel. Um, I do own pretty much all of Beherit's uh, discography, whether it's across vinyl, CD, and cassettes. Uh, Beherit's one of those bands that's been really hit or miss for me uh, in terms of 
where I'm at in my life. When I was younger, I just loved the shit out of their music. And now, as I've gotten a little bit older, it's kind of something I don't really find myself listening to a whole lot. Mist of Fire, however, has been one of those bands that I still, like, every once in a while, I'm like, man, I really want to listen to Goetia. And I'll put it on our man, I really want to listen to Wicca um, or Profanus. Uh, so I don't own Profanus, uh, which is the one that comes out after Goetia. And then I don't own uh, Protogony, Mavri, Ma whatever came out in 2019. Still great albums. I don't think they're bad by any means. I just haven't had the chance to pick them up yet. But I did make sure to pick up the reuses from NWN. So here's Goetia. If I had to choose between the two out of, out of these two albums pretty 50 50 uh depending on the mood today i might pick goetia or i might pick wicca today it's wicca i this one clicked a little bit more with me this morning when i listened to both of these but again still a phenomenal record uh, this is their second full length that came out in 1993 um oh yeah the world is so good that who made it doesn't live here i also don't own that that's what came out after this so there's three full lengths that i still need to get and then there's a box set a ton of comps eps all that stuff. Uh, maybe I'll start collecting one day. I would like to get the box set that has been reissued on vinyl a couple of years ago. It's, it looks really nice. Um, I watched a YouTube video recently. Somebody showed that off. I can't remember who it was. I don't remember who it was I watched. I watch a lot of YouTubers that show off, but there you go. Lyrics. Nothing. No iconic band images uh, with this booklet. Um, same with the back. The CD looks cool though. I like the way the CD looks. Let me get it there. And then the hype sticker. Uh, at long last, the definitive edition of Mystifier's otherworldly second album featuring restored original artwork, okay? And sound mandatory listening for fans to stick off though. Barathrone and Beharit. So again, if you would ask me uh, what my favorite Mystifier album is when it became between these two, I would tell you it's pretty much 50 50 today it's wicca or sorry wicca <laughs> uh tomorrow could be goetia uh so yeah those were the three mystifier cds i finally added to my collection i do plan to get the others i do enjoy all their other albums too uh i think they're great but these first two are obviously my favorites i think they're you know the more iconic ones the the ones that people are very familiar with i think they're on seas of a mist now is that what was released in 2019 Think, yeah, Season of Mist. Okay, so those should be relatively easy to get. Season of Mist does a really good job of reissuing their stuff. Uh, but I did order Alistair Crowley. NWN is having a huge sale right now, and I, I grabbed it because I wanted to get it. So that's on its way. I'll show it off in another video. Uh, but again, I finally had Mystifier. Uh, Isaac Morantz, if you're watching this, I think you're one of the first people that ever like messaged me a long time ago being like, you know Mystifier, right? Like, I love Mystifier. I think you're from Brazil. Uh, yes. Obviously, I know Mystifier, love Mystifier, uh, and I finally, <laughs> finally got their stuff in my collection. So you should, you should be happy and proud of me. <laughs> um, and I do want to get these on vinyl. This is one of those bands where, where I, I'm not happy with just having it on CD. I'm one of those people. There's certain bands where I do that with, but for now, I've got the CDs and I'm excited. So that's all that I had today. Again, um, I'm really getting close to 4,000, so not 4,000. Jesus, 3,000 subscribers. I think I'm only like 40 subs away. So if you like this channel, subscribe. At 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away probably a vinyl this time. I think last time I gave away is tapes when I reached 2,000. I'm going to probably give away a vinyl this time. I'm just going to figure out what one I'm going to give away. Um, I've got a bunch of duplicates and stuff like that back there. So I might pull something from my personal collection or I might just buy something. I don't know yet. Uh, but again, remember tomorrow night, heavy metallurgy stream with Marty and Alan Slayer. Um, like I said, I have pulled out every single Slayer <laughs> album. I have every single one of their albums. Uh, there's probably like one live album I haven't gotten, and that's the, the most recent Repentless live album that they put out right before, uh, like in 2019 or something like that. I think that's probably the only one I don't own, but I own everything else by Slayer. Um, and um, it's been fun. I, I've been enjoying going back and revisiting this discography. Uh, there's a lot of albums in here that are from my childhood, from my from my teens that are just bringing back a lot of nostalgia uh, and ranking them is going to be tough because there's about four albums that are just my all-time favorite Slayer albums and it's hard to just pick which one's my favorite just because of my mood so 
we'll see how that goes. But um, thank you guys. I'm hoping to get more content out next week. I have a lighter schedule next week. Uh, so I'm hoping to record more. I'm going to a record store today, picking up a couple of things. So I might record some footage there if they're okay with it. So see you guys in the next one.